sort of stuff uh, to have some fun. Praise the Lord. They've toured extensively, including performances in Times Square at universities, corporate events, uh, different tours. They've been seen on America's Got Talent. You've seen them there. They've also been uh, seen at the Illinois State Fair. Anyone been there? Illinois State Fair. Rocking my hair. It's no state fair like Indiana, but I'm sure it's awesome. Anyway, their, their appearances have taken them all across the, the country and the world, even to India and Dubai. But today they've landed in Mishawaka, Indiana. So would you please welcome the Funny Boys.
fucking my shit up. Yeah, that's the bass drum. Cool. 
and then in your in your left hand you got the snare drum. Give me some of that. That's right. And then the other important one you need to know is the hi hat that goes in the right hand. So like if I do the hi hat and the snare drum, it'd be like. On the left hand, super. Cool. And when you put it all together. Oh, one more important one, the crash cymbals, all right? This is the exciting part of every song. When you play the crash cymbals, that's way up in the air. Your cymbals aren't here, your cymbals are like up top. So hit a crash with me. Two, three, four. Yes, that looks good. That looks great. Super good. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're just gonna do a little medley, we're gonna kinda get you through this. I'm excited, are you guys excited? Yeah. After this, we promise you can sit down for the whole rest of chapel, all right? So DJ, student, mix a lot. If you want to go ahead and play our track, from the booth, we're gonna not set a world record tonight. This morning. Two, three. It helps, I'm primarily a vocalist. That helps 
drummer? Because you're not a real drummer then. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be here on chapel. Tip your tip basket. All right, what was your name again? Jack. John? John. Jack. I'm Vince. John. All right, so on your John, Dan, Vince, say hi to Mike. Mike? Uh, uh, so, um, John, are you, are you a vocal major? You're John, and you're jo a vocal major. John. Jake. Jackson. Five. I don't want to talk to him. He's not on stage. This is between you and me, John. What year are you? I'm a senior. Uh-oh, real life's coming soon. What are you going to do? I hope to go to opera, actually. Awesome. That's way better than working at Starbucks, which is what all of my musician friends do. Congratulations. That's great. All right, so John, um, you're a senior at Bethel College. Can you count to four? One, two, three, four. That was a yes or no question. It's working now, I tell you. All right, that's good. So John, what you're going to do is you're just going to count to four, and Dan and I are going to make something up here on the spot. It's going to be improvisation. All right, and uh, we don't know how fast or slow you're going to be, but it's got to be one. So it could be like, you could be fast, like one, two, three, four. Or you could do it at a slower tempo, like one, two, three, four. You know, kind of like what Justin Bieber fella does? He's always like, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Are you a believer too? Believer? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. What are we doing, John? I, I don't know either. Jackson, you're going to count to four, alright? And we are going to play an improvised drum solo on this wall behind us. You can do it at any pace you like. Um, so, uh, come on over here. Follow me. Yeah, right over this way. My friend, my friend, amigo. Cell phone down! Whoa! Lucky that's not my phone, that was shattered. Uh -oh. right. Come on this way. Cool. Actually, no. How about over here? Yeah. How about over here? Yeah. Very good. Okay. So all you're going to do is count to four once. Wait, wait. Um, and then we're going to play. I'm going to give you the mic to say it so you don't hear the count off. Yeah. Alright. You guys excited for this? Yeah. Don't count too much, you haven't seen them count yet. Just count to four once, that's all we need. Alright. One, two, three. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, sorry. We gotta move these. Alright. Come on, guys. That would have been awful. Actually, you know what? Uh, Jackson, Dan and I have been known to drop drumsticks occasionally. It, it rarely happens, but if. But when it does, it's really annoying. So what we're going to have you do is just kind of be on the lookout. If, if we happen to drop a drumstick, Dan's just going to give you a couple. Uh, if you just can kind of toss it in our general direction. It rarely happens. We, we never drop drumsticks. But if it does, just, just kind of toss it in our direction. We're going to catch it. You won't have any idea that anything changed. Um, just, just hold on to the drumsticks. And uh, we're going to do trauma. So everything depends on, um, on me. Jackson, I just need you to just hold on to the drumsticks. Wait! Maybe some legal one for you. Okay. <laughs> but you didn't know. I'm not left handed. Are we having a nerd off right now? See what this looks like from down here. This is gonna be awesome. Quote Star Wars, Jackson, go. Or just fight each other. That's cool too. This will be our last time we're invited to chapel here at Bethel College. You two done? Yeah. Musicians. All right. So all you're gonna do is count before we do that. But we're gonna give you a little trial run, Jackson. So uh, go ahead and throw the drumstick. On um, the count of four. I wasn't ready. Let's try that again. On the count of four! This is not going yet. Let's pump the brakes. Let's pump the brakes. I like the energy. I definitely like the uh, spirit of helpfulness. But oh, he's bad at following directions. <laughs> he made it to senior year somehow. Somehow. Alright, so 
let's just give this a try one. You know, Vince, I think what would make this, this toss to you real easy and probably successful, what if we switch sides? That's a good idea.
Thank you so much for the book. For the book. Let's go take a second. Just take a nap. Just a second. You guys can just, just keep so quiet. Just have a word of prayer or something. Just need to just need to for, for a really long time. Two, two breakfast time was too much. Please. Not too much. Not too much. So how are you guys doing? Okay. Shall we? You can read again. That's one of us. Those, Thank you for your moments of those drums that aren't drums. I just need to go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. those you guys know what you know? I went to the gym the other day for like the first time in a really long time. And um, I was looking around because I don't know anything. Uh, <laughs> and the trainer's like, uh, you look confused, sir. Are you looking for something? And yeah, I'm just looking at all the machines. He's like, oh, is there, is there what you're looking for? I go, yeah, the vending machine. <laughs> And I'm no longer allowed in that gym. So, uh, here's the deal, guys. This is really hard. Um, Dan and I have been playing drums since we are 10 years old. Uh, we are old. We're not like as old as teachers. They're really old. They actually know what like, a library is and cast iron pans and stuff. Um, but we've been playing drums since we were fifth grade, fifth grade. Um, I've been doing this for 16 years. Dan's been drumming with me for five now. And um, as silly as this sounds, I get paid and I make a living playing buckets and barrels. There's not a whole lot of people in the world that can say that. So I am living proof that God has a sense of humor. Um, because serious, seriously, let's be honest here. But I, I started when I was in college. So I, I'm thankful for you being at such a good university. Although it's college, and I know it's hard, you guys have made the right choice by coming here. You're surrounded by good people at a good college, and you're doing things that state school events did not quite do in your engineer. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you for that. If there's anything that you take away from, from what we do, it's don't eat breakfast tacos before you have to jump around. If there's two things that you take away from our show, uh, one, don't eat, don't eat breakfast tacos. Two, don't get a vocal major on your stage because he's comfortable on stage and will turn your props into a weapon. <laughs> if there's three things, probably in reverse order now. Uh, one, don't eat breakfast tacos and donuts and Diet Coke before uh, and the pizza, uh, before breakfast. Two, vocal major thing. Three, where are you going? I'm going to take like the big awe moment and you're leaving. Number three is follow your passion. That's the most important thing. I know in college you have to do all these books and schoolwork and everything, but I loved to play drums. Dan loved to play drums. And because we found something that we were passionate about, it got us around the people that were also passionate about it. And that's how we get this community or this network of people that allows us and enables us, enables us to do what we love to do. We've been fortunate, and we're living proof, that following your passion actually works. It's not one of those like Upworthy.com videos where you're like, oh, click if you like this, that's so cute. We're living proof, it works. So do that, please. <coughs> I also wanted to share with you just how special it is to be in the same room with you. This is really cool. This is nothing like the internet at all. Something I've got to learn from performing all the places we've got to perform is the value of human connection one on one. In this day we live in, making a real connection with one human being is like at a premium. You know, it's it's so genuine, it's so real. And like, ask yourself how many great conversations you have in a given week. You know, well we can build that up. It just takes one at a time. When we went to Dubai, I've never been that far from home. That's real crazy. And we're playing for people from the complete other side of the world. But it felt just like home. I wasn't ready for it, but it felt just like home. Kids riding their bikes up every day, skidding out the tires, huge smile on their face, you know, moms and dads watching us, boyfriends and girlfriends, your same age watching our show. And the smile is the same. The connection is the same. Because human being to human being is just so critical. And you can fill your whole day and all your time with other things 
You can literally Facebook scroll 24 hours if you have the thumbs for it. But you know that's not the real deal. You know, so this is really special to us. I recommend forming community because you're in our community now. You can come say hi to us. I'm Dan, this is Vince. We're your actual friends. If you want to talk to us at the end of the show, uh, we'll be surprised, but we'll, we'll be back there. So you can come talk to us. We're, we, we actually have a conversation. But anyway, I just wanted to leave that with you to uh, spend some time in your week making a one-on-one -on -one connection with another person, even if it's the person sitting next to you right now. Um, that's a really heavy and great thing to do when it changes the world. Yeah. yeah. So we need a couple... Oh, you guys are hugging. You're so cute. Um, we might have a couple connections on... Oh, gross. I mean, I love you. And hug. Um, we need a couple volunteers to come and help us out for this last bit of the show. Um, make sure you... Doesn't look like he's volunteering, so... That needs to be there, he's going to die. Alright, come on up. Alright, we need a guy. Is there a guy? Maybe I'm going guy. Maybe I'm, you can't point at someone that's not volunteering. Oh man, I'm going to get this. Come on. This is a bad idea, isn't it? Um, what is your name? I am Brad. 
Hi, Brian, I'm Vince, nice to meet you. <laughs> Karen, have you ever seen the Bucket Boys before? Like, right now. Yes or no? Have you ever seen the Bucket Boys before? No. Good. Do you know what a drum solo is? Yes. Brad, you're going to do your own Bucket Boy drum solo. There are three very important steps to doing a drum solo. Step number one, you got to dance. But you got to dance like you're in chapel. So like your knees, your shoulders, <laughs> nothing else could shake. But if it does, it'll probably end up on YouTube. Step number two, side to side. You're playing a movie, you're shaking, you go from one side to the other, back and forth and back and forth. Step number three, it's 360. It's like geometry or something. I'll let you guys do the math. Alright, so, if you want to turn around, here you go. Are you, are you guys? Okay. Here you go. One, two, ready, go! Once again, my name is Vince. I'm Dan. We are the Bucket Boys. 